Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is April, and in today's video, for the very first time, I think I have one of the quickest speed reviews that I have ever done on my channel. <laughs> I haven't really been testing out a lot of products the last month or so just because I've been trying to get through some of the products in my collection whether that's products that I haven't touched that are a little bit older or products that are older that I just need to use up but um, yeah I just need to hurry up and get through this stuff that I have in front of me so I can give you guys my final thoughts on these products because they have been sitting on my table for quite a long time but before we get into today's video, guys, if you enjoy this type of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Now, let's go ahead and get into this quick speed review. Okay, let's start with the one and only product that I did not like. And I am talking about the Maybelline lip plumper I guess it's the lifter plump chili and I have mine in the shade 005 peach fever it just looks like this now if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you guys will know that I love lip plumpers I like the Too Faced lip injections the lip gloss the lip liners the lipsticks all of it I have not came across a lip plumper that I did not like until I used this one I only used it once and that was it never again this burned not only my lips but it burned my throat and it just felt so bad on my lips and my tongue was tingling my throat hurted for a couple hours more than a couple hours almost a full day and yeah it just it hurt so bad and I was so shocked that I did not like this plumper because like I said I normally love lip plumpers but unfortunately this one was just not it for me and I cannot believe this is the only thing that I haven't liked so far <laughs> but yeah I would definitely pass on this if you don't like plumping lip products in general you definitely will not like this and if you've been wanting to try a lip plumper I would recommend you uh, trying one from Too Faced those are way better than this lip product I have quite a bit of products in my okay category let's talk about eye products this one is from elf and this is the lash extender mascara it just looks like this this is a tubey mascara i believe this is trying to dupe the one from thrive cosmetics i am wearing it today on my eyelashes and i think it's an okay product i like it because it's tubing and it comes off really easy but i feel like it doesn't really do anything like um wowing to my eyelashes there are other drugstore mascaras that I like more than this it's an okay product it's not something that I would repurchase again but if you're looking for a good affordable um, drugstore option then I would probably recommend this one to you guys I do like this one a little bit more than the one that they have that I think it's called the Roland lash if I'm not mistaken the one that's pink and black um, I think that one's trying to do the benefit roll and lash mascara um, I do prefer this one more than that one so if you were trying to decide on which of those two to get I would definitely recommend this one but it's just an okay product something that I wouldn't repurchase again okay moving on I do have quite a bit of eye products from Sephora collection let's talk about these these are single eyeshadows from the Sephora collection I have quite a bit of uh, different formulas I have two of the glitter formulas and then one of the metal formula and then I do have some of the shimmer formulas and then the matte formulas already in my collection that I've tried out but I'm specifically talking about these two formulas they're okay I'm not really a big fan of these single eyeshadows from Sephora collection I know people rave about these but they're just okay I have other single eyeshadows that I prefer a little bit more than this but take this with a grain of salt I'm not really into single eyeshadows so that's another thing you might want to keep in mind um, but yeah these were just okay they are affordable they are ten dollars but I have seen these on discount for five dollars so if you've been wanting to try these out I definitely think getting them for five dollars is a great deal but yeah they're just okay nothing to write home about and then the other ones that I have from Sephora collection these are the Sephora charged up long wear liquid eyeshadows I do have three of these and the reason why I have three is because Britt Clark raved about these she actually raved about this one in shocking again they're fine there's nothing 
to write home about with these. Um, I feel like they don't really last on my eyelids um, as I would like them to, but then again, keep in mind, I do have really oily eyelids, and when I do put these on, I don't use a primer just because I don't like the way it looks, so that could be another reason. It's just because I have really oily eyelids, and it just doesn't look all that great on my eyelids, and then again, I'm not a single eyeshadow type of person, so... These were just okay. Again, I believe these are around $10, $15, and you can get these. Actually, no, now that I'm thinking about this, I don't think you can get these anymore because Sephora Collection has recently rebranded, I'm assuming, because a lot of their products, their older products, have been discontinued or they're on a super sale or they have been reformulated and they're in different packaging and all that. So I don't think you could get these. Maybe they're reformulating them, but yeah, I know I think I got these for like around $6 if I'm not mistaken. But if you were not able to get these and you missed out, don't worry. There are other products like these that are better than this. Um, but yeah, they were just okay products. And then I do have one foundation that I want to talk about. This one is from e.l.f. This is the Camel Hydrating CC um, Cream. This says it's full coverage, long-lasting, dewy finish, um, SPF 30. I do have mine in the shade light 240W. So here's the thing with this one. I am oily to normal. I do get oily mainly on my nose. I get very oily on my nose and then a little bit on my chin and on my forehead. Everywhere else it's pretty normal. Sometimes I'll have dry patches. So that is my skin type. This, I like it on my skin. However, I do need to powder and I will get oily fast throughout the day. So if you are oily, I would not recommend this for you. If you are like combo, you could kind of get away with a product like this. I would definitely say to powder with this. Definitely powder is the key for this. Um, if you are dry, I think you will definitely love this product. Again, this is okay. I do like this more than the original one that they came out with. I forgot what it was called, but I know it was the CC Camel, I don't know, something matte, I don't know, something like that. That one I didn't like just because it did break me out. I did like it, but that was the main reason why I didn't like it was because it broke me out so I couldn't wear it. Um, but yeah, this one is just okay. This one didn't break me out, so I'm surprised that it didn't, but it did not break me out. and. Yeah, it was just an okay foundation I do have to babysit this um, but overall nice product it's just something that I wouldn't repurchase and then I will use this um, I'm just probably gonna mix it up with other foundations maybe like a foundation that's a little bit too drying for me I can mix it in with this one but yeah it's okay the products these are from NYX and these are the smooth whip matte lip creams it just looks like this now I know these aren't new new but I just recently tried these out this year and I've been testing them out and I do like these um I forgot how much these are do I love them no will I repurchase them probably maybe yeah maybe I will because they're not drying um like it says it is a cream formula so it's not going to be drying on your lips like 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 a liquid lipstick um but it's not satin either so yeah these are good products um, I wish I knew the price on this if I know the price I will pop it up here on the screen somewhere but yeah overall I really do like these lip products and then the last product in the okay category now people are probably gonna be like what a lot of people love these but I think these are just okay I am talking about the elf camel liquid blushes I do have I actually have three shades but one of the shades I haven't tried but the other two shades that I've tried are Dusty Rose and, um, oh my goodness gracious, Suave Mauve, I think that's what it says. Elf, if you're listening, please, I beg you, can you do something about the packaging? Like, the, the names, you cannot see, it's ridiculous to see. But anyways, so these are the liquid blushes. Um, they're okay. I do prefer the ones from Rare Beauty just a little bit more because they last on my cheeks more than these. These are a thinner formula than the Rare Beauty. Um, I wouldn't say these are dupes, but it's similar to the Rare Beauty. So just keep that in mind. I personally don't think they're dupes. I just think they're similar. But like I said, this has a thinner formula. These don't last as long as the Rare Beauty, but they're not bad. I do like them. Um, will I get more of these? No. I think... 
one or two is fine the third one i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it i haven't opened it yet i'm actually looking at it because i have it right here on my desk it is more of an orangey color just looks like this i don't know if i'm going to keep it or give it away but yeah these are just okay i definitely prefer the rare beauty ones and you can be a little bit more heavy-handed with these ones i personally don't think these are pigmented pigmented as much as the rare beauty ones and then the final category I want to talk about today is my favorites. Again, I don't have that many products that are my favorites just because, like I said, I didn't test a lot of makeup um, in the last couple of months. But let's start with this. This is more of a skincare product. This is from Good Molecules, and this is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I did get this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, and I have been using it, and I've really been enjoying this a lot. Um, it doesn't look like I've used a lot, but trust me, you don't need a lot. I, before was going too much with this, I would like get it and then like put it on my face like this. No, that is too much. I would just, now I get it and then I put one squeeze in my hand and then that's enough for my whole face. So just if you get this, make sure you're not going overboard with it <laughs> like I did. But I like it. It keeps my face hydrated. It just really leaves my makeup looking really good. And yeah, I, there's nothing more that I could say about this. I do like it. And then I do like how in the box it actually tells you how to put it on. Like it gives you each step. So like the first step is cleanse. The second step is tone. The third step is this. The fourth step is moisturizer. And then the fifth step is SPF. So I do like it. I do keep this in the box so that way I have that information for me. But yeah, really have been enjoying this. And you can find this at Ulta um, it's really affordable I'm really shocked at how affordable good molecules is then the next product I have are lip products again I had a lot of elf products that I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about these are the lip oils from elf these are called the glow reviver lip oils I do have two shades I have it in this shade Ooh, honey honey talk I think and then the other one I have it in Mm, rose envy i believe i am wearing honey talk right now um i do have a lip liner on and then this on top and i like these now i'm not sure when i talked to you guys about these the first time i don't know if i said that these were dupe for the uh dior lip oils if i did i definitely take that back i don't think these are dupe for the dior lip oils but i do think they are similar to the dior lip oils these ones from e.l.f. has a little bit more of a thicker formula and consistency than the ones from Dior. Those ones from Dior are much lighter. And I feel like the ones from Dior last a little bit longer than these ones from e.l.f. But I do really do like these a lot. And I do think if you've been wanting to try the Dior lip oils but they're a little bit too expensive for you, I definitely would recommend trying these out. I have really been enjoying these. Um, but yeah, I just usually will put a lip liner on and then throw one of these on and then I'm good to go. But yeah, really do love those. And then the final product that I want to talk to you guys about is a eyeshadow palette. This one is from Natasha Denona and this is the My Mini Dream Palette. It just looks like this. And then this is what the color story looks like. I have really been loving this little eyeshadow palette. The only thing that I would say is that I kind of wish that this shade wasn't in here just because it is a repeat shade. You can find this in one of her mid-size palettes. That I don't like so much, but if you don't have that palette and you want to get this, then, then it's a good idea to have it. But since I mainly have all of her eyeshadow palettes, I kind of don't like how she repeats eyeshadows like that. But overall, this is a really good color story. I can use all the shades. For a look, um, I've created multiple looks, looks with this uh, eyeshadow palette. But yeah, overall, really good palette. And it is $27, so it is affordable. I do recommend if you've never tried Nat Natasha Denona um, eyeshadows, I would start out with these minis. These are $27. And these are really good small eyeshadow palettes. I have quite a few in my collection. And I practically love them all that I have tried. I, there's a couple in my collection that I haven't tried yet. But I'm currently trying to get through eyeshadow palettes, just eyeshadow products in general that I haven't tried. I'm trying to get that 
done this year so that way I can make sure that I'm trying everything in my collection so that way I can get rid of stuff if I don't want to or use up things that I need to get uh, used up but overall like I said this is a really good eyeshadow palette all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. That was a really quick speed review. Actually, that was probably the quickest speed review I've ever done on my channel. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't really use a lot of products these last like two months or so. Um, just because, like I said, I'm trying to get through my makeup collection and use products that are a little bit older and products that I haven't tried. But yeah, I'm just really trying to get through a lot of my collection. But yeah, guys, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. And until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye.